What's up guys, this is Carter Thomas with Blue Cloud Solutions. We got a new, fun new uh, space to shoot some videos and record some audio for you today. So it's gonna be a fun, new, a fun new set of videos for you. Today what I wanna talk to you about is what's the best way to advertise your app, right? It's 2017, there's a lot of people that are starting to think about advertising. We never really thought about this before in the app business. What is the best way to do so. And so what I wanna do is three, run, th run through three separate ways you can advertise your particular app, okay? Now, the first way is to go on to traditional ad networks, right? Many of us have used advertising networks in the past to monetize our apps, things like Chartboost or Applovin or AdMob or you know, fill in the blank, whatever ad network you've used but now we're thinking about using it on the advertising side, going out and getting installs for our own app. That's the first, you know, kind of, that's where your mind goes because that's what you, you've been using for a few years now, if you've been in the game, or that's maybe what you hear other people doing, especially in the gaming world. What I can tell you is that this is probably one of the least cost-effective strategies for 99% of you out there. The installs that you get are not gonna be that well targeted and they're going to be relatively expensive. The only time that this can work is if you know that there is an ad network in some particular country that has some particular type of traffic that you know you can do really well on. But for the most part, these platforms just do not have the tools, the infrastructure or the data to get you the low cost installs that you really need to be profitable. So think about those ad networks, advertising networks in the mobile space as a secondary possibility. Once you've maxed out the things that do work much more, much more often, you can go to these networks and say, all right, let's see if we can make these works and add another 50% uh, volume to our current ad spend. Now, the second thing that you can do is probably the best option, or it is the best option, I, I would say. Facebook advertising is unparalleled. It is probably, there's never been more targeting possibilities in anything related to advertising than what's available with Facebook. And it's just getting better and better and better. For you, as someone who is either has an app or you are thinking about making an app or in the process of making an app, Facebook advertising is the best way to pay for advertising in terms of getting the biggest bang for your buck. If you have a small budget, Facebook ads is the place to go and get started. If you wanna learn more about it, we do have an intro course that you can get. It's very easy, it's only a couple hours. We walk through the whole thing as a beginner. It's a good intro to it. We also have plenty of free blog posts that you can check out about Facebook ads. But Facebook advertising is the name of the game. Now, if you wanna take that a step further, Using video ads on Facebook ads is definitely the better option when you're determining, well, should I do images? Should I write long posts? Should I use video? Video, on average, beats everything else uh, in terms of getting really, really low installs. And if you have no idea what to make a video about, it's really easy to do. You can just do a screenshot of, you know, do a screencast of your, your app being used on your computer. That's enough but just using video on Facebook ads is the number one way to advertise your app. Right? You can target so well, there's a ton of volume out there. You can go country by country, you can get detailed down to the age and the gender of people. It's, it's really incredible what they've been able to do and the people that have the most success in the app business right now with advertising across the board all use Facebook ads. It's true with most marketing businesses, but the ad space, or the app space, I should say, Facebook ads, that's where it's at. Now the third bucket is one that uh, I like to call the, the moonshot bucket because what's great about advertising and marketing really to a certain extent is that it's always evolving. There's always new marketplaces and ad networks and ad strategies that are coming up. And I think that Often we wait until something is established, there's a tutorial, you can go and you can get involved and people, someone tells you, hey, you know, you should go give this a shot and uh, you know, make it work, kind of like what happened to Facebook ads. But in this moonshot category, there are some ad networks out there 
that are up and coming that if you are an early adopter could end up being extremely lucrative. If Whenever you look at entrepreneurs that have been around for the last, I would say 20 years, and anybody who's built real businesses, or I should say real wealth off of advertising, they, the, one of the common themes is that they got into an ad platform earlier than the masses did. So they got disproportionately lower cost per install on their ad spend. Now they had to learn a little bit about it. They had to go in and figure it out for themselves, but they were rewarded. Right? On AdWords, you could go and buy one cent clicks way back when it, in 2003 when it first came out. Right? Facebook ads in 2010, you could get Facebook, you get page likes for one one thousandth of a cent, right? You can get traffic to your site. It was crazy. And that's how people really exploded on all these ad platforms. And so for you, anyone out there, as you're getting into the advertising uh, world and starting to think about advertising your app, realize that there are new ad networks coming out. And the two that I would encourage you to look at, one is Quora which is, if you don't know, it's kind of like a, a massive Q&A site. People post questions and then they get answers. And they get, I don't know, 50 or 60 million people a month to their website and they can run ads uh, to your app. They're just, it's just been released to the public. That can be a good one to test. Now, n notice that it's not gonna work for everything. It works really well for certain niches and not well for other niches. Uh, I don't know exactly what the criteria is, but it's more of a male audience. It's more of a left brain audience. So it can work really well maybe if you have like a finance app or maybe even a fitness app, something like that. The other platform is Snapchat. Snapchat is going to be rolling out their mobile ad platform over the coming year. And they're also going to be giving out lots of different incentives to get people to join up and to spend money on that platform. They need to start showing that they can make money, right? They're a publicly traded company, meaning that there is going to be big opportunity and they're focusing on mobile installs. That's the difference, right? Like Pinterest was different because they didn't focus on installs. Snapchat, all they, all they are going to be selling uh, in one part of their division is mobile app installs. So they're really focused on it. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because many of you out there, you're gonna start advertising or maybe you are advertising. Definitely go to Facebook ads and definitely test some videos because I would be willing to bet that you're gonna see really good results with that in itself. But I would also encourage anyone out there to start thinking about these new ad networks, right? Quora and Snapchat are two, but there are dozens that keep popping up. I can't keep up with all of them sometimes, but just keeping your, your ear out for these new ones and being one of the first people to test and to spend money and to figure out how to you know, hack the system can pay huge dividends down the road. Now you might waste a couple hundred bucks, you might waste a couple weeks of your life, and maybe it doesn't go anywhere. But if it does go somewhere, it could pay for years of other projects that you haven't, haven't, that haven't worked out or that you've tried or save you years in the future of trying to grind it, you know, 5% a year, 10% a year, 20% a year. So those three buckets, traditional ad networks in the mobile, mobile space, don't go, don't, don't bother. Right? Some people, some companies, some dev shops, some big apps, they can do that. That is not for the people watching this video, listening to this podcast, this, this is not for you. Okay, so don't even, don't even worry about that. Second bucket, Facebook ads, especially with video. Do it, try it. At the very least, read one of our blog posts about it. If you wanna learn more, sign up for the mini course. It will help you out. Right? It's, worth, it's definitely worth a few hours of your time if you wanna just learn how to get started in the basics. And the third bucket is go check out some of these new mobile networks, these mobile ad networks, specifically Quora and Snapchat. I really think that somebody out there is going to go in and test a bunch of stuff and you're gonna find some of these hidden gem pockets and you're gonna get incredible results because nobody else is willing to be one of the first, right? They're waiting for all these guys to go in or men and women to go in find the results and then come back and tell everybody, hey, you know, here's what you do and here's how you do it. And by the time that's happened, then you're missing out on a lot of the potential upside. So go just try these out. Give it a shot, right? Just spend 50 bucks on them and see what happens. I'm not, you know, this is not like an endorsement. This is just, this is what I've seen. Everybody, every time I've seen people have huge results, 
uh, in marketing and in advertising is because they're early. It's because they're one of the first people to try it. So go give it a shot and just see what happens. So I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, we get this question a lot about how to grow your app, how do you advertise your app, and I think that this is the best advice I can give you. So, you know, shoot me a note or leave a comment or, you know, sign up for the email newsletter and re respond back and let me know if you try any of these. Let me know what's working for you. Uh, if you have any questions about it, I'm happy to help you out. If you know somebody who is in the app business or thinking about the app business who might be thinking about advertising, send them this link, you know, send them this video and uh, make sure that they're trying some new stuff too because the best thing that can happen is that a couple of you try these new platforms or get on Facebook ads and just start to crush it and have massive results. So in the meantime, I will talk to you guys soon. See you later.